Your star is rising. You are about to be elevated by the hand of God. You are about to be shown in the very presence of all of those who have doubted you, your true ability, your true divine power when every dream you've had in your heart begins to manifest. This is the season you walk forward into your authentic power. And you have to participate in this. There is an unfolding that you have to be an active and willing participant in. I'm going to show you that today because I believe the universe has this message just for you. There are no mistakes in the universe, folks. What we are dealing with energy, it's vibration, and vibration never lies. You know if you get good vibes or if you get bad vibes, you need to trust that. In the same way, the universe never makes a mistake. And if you've happened upon this video, whether you are subscribed or not, I believe this is divine guidance. And I hope that this serves to catapult you forward into your destiny. Ladies and gentlemen, we are starting right now. So come on, let's kick on into it. Well, hello, good looking. Welcome to Elevate. Thanks for stopping in. I love it when you come by for a visit. So I really hope that this encourages and uplifts you today. And if it's your first time, a special warm welcome to you from me and the whole family here. Why don't you subscribe? Join the community that we are building. I'm here every single day. I never miss a day. We talk about mindset coaching, things I learned studying for a degree. We talk about manifesting your best life, living your dreams, and actionable things that you can do today to see a result tomorrow. So make sure you subscribe because today I've got a message for you. God is about to prepare a table for you in the presence of your enemies. Every single person who has doubted you will stand in wonderment. Every person who has not believed in your dream, not believed in your intrinsic worth, every person who has ridiculed you, who has mocked you, has called you less than enough, they will be proven to be in the wrong. See, there's a scripture that says you're more than a conqueror, and you absolutely are. There is a scripture that says God plus you is a majority, and that is true because the power of Christ dwells within you. It is not external to you. The same things you've seen me do, you will do and more because I will be with you. It's in red letters. So ladies and gentlemen, the message I have for you today is that it is time for you to step into your authentic power. It is time for you to rise up, to grab a hold of that dream, to stop spinning your wheels and understand that where you are going matters. It is not going to not happen because the dream is tied to your purpose. There is a reason that you are here. And you can choose to move forward into that destiny. You don't have to. You can live your life however you want. But when you are in alignment with your highest self, when you resonate with your destiny and you move forward each and every day, just working on you, being focused on your inner work, being the best version of you that you could be, being good to people, being good to yourself. When you keep moving forward, you move forward into a destiny where the way is made straight for you and it's in operating in this destiny you find all of your gifts. Because it is true what I always say, that it is your gift that makes way for you. When you operate in your gift, and it doesn't matter what that is, if you're a musician like I am, I'm a bass player, that gift will make way for you. There is no way that I should ever have stood on stages around the world in front of thousands of people, been in recording studios and all sorts of things, playing bass guitar. No way. But it was my gift that made way for those opportunities. And as I decided to use my gift in service to my purpose and my calling, rather than just in service to myself, I didn't want to keep it just for me, just so I could say to people, Hey, look, watch, watch me play this cool bass riff. Watch me play this solo. I didn't keep it for me. I shared it and used it. In the same way, if your gift is with children and you work in education, it is your gift that makes way for you. If your gift is with finance and you help people with their budgeting or you do financial literacy courses in your community with single mums and dads who can't get ahead, it is your gift that makes way for you. And when you use your gift... You move forward into your promised land. So what you have to do is participate in your unfolding. 
You have to participate in the journey towards your promised land. I'd love to share a scripture with you. One of my favourites of all time, the 23rd Psalm. Hands up if you know the 23rd Psalm. I love it. It's, it just brings so much peace. But let me read this to you. We'll pay particular attention to a couple of verses towards the end. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. That's so beautiful. You know, when I first heard that when I was a young fella, I thought, if God's my shepherd, why do I not want him? Crazy how the mind works. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. There is nothing that I need want for. He makes me to lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside still waters. He restoreth my soul. He leads me in paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. Now listen to this. The 23rd Psalm from verse 5. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil, my cup runs over. Surely goodness and mercy will follow me for all of the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Isn't there so much promise in that? It's a beautiful psalm. Psalm of David, reflecting on the goodness of God. But listen, you will prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. That means that the scripture that says you are more than a conqueror is true. You know the scripture that says that every tongue that has rised up in judgment against you, you shall condemn. It says no weapon that's formed against you will prosper. See, it's a promise. It's already given. When you receive that, when you recognize that the intention of the universe is to set you up for success, even in front of the people who have doubted you, even in front of the people who have wanted to cause you pain. Oftentimes in life, we run from these people. We run from these circumstances. We want to hide from the thing that we fear. And that's, that's part of the human experience. But when you recognize that when you are in alignment with your purpose, you are untouchable, that God plus you is a majority, when you recognize that nothing will stop you from reaching your destiny when you keep moving forward faithfully, you recognize that it is the universe who is preparing a table for you in the presence of your enemies. And you will sit at this banquet table and all of your enemies, whoever doubted you, will stand there and they will wonder how it happened. And they will be in amazement at the favor and the majesty of the hand of God that is upon your life. You have to participate. There is something that you have to do, and it is found in this scripture. Right at the very end, it says, Surely goodness and mercy will follow me for all of the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. What does that mean to you? To dwell in the house of the Lord forever. What does that mean to you? Does that mean to go to church every day? Does it mean to take your swag, set it up in the foyer and move in at church and every single day, that's where you're going to be. Because if you're supposed to dwell in the house of the Lord forever, if that is the thing, if surely in goodness and mercy you're going to follow me all the days of my life and they're going to do that because I'm dwelling in the house of the Lord forever, if all of these things are a result of me dwelling in the house of the Lord forever, you have better go and find a church to move into. Quick smart. Just joking. That's not what that means. That is not what that means at all. And if you know where this is about to go, type it in the comments down below because that means you're an OG. If you know where this is about to go, pause the video now and type a comment down below. Tell me where you think this is going to go because it means you're an OG. It means you've been here and you've heard me bang on about this time and time and time again. But the house of the Lord is not the church. The house of the Lord is not the church. The house of the Lord is your heart. Your heart is the secret dwelling place of the Most High. Your body is the temple of the Holy Spirit. Behold, I stand at the door of your heart and I knock. If anyone opens, I will enter and dwell with him. The things you have seen me do, you will do in greater, for I will be with you and inside of you. See, it's the spirit that lives inside of us. It is the heart that is the secret dwelling place. Your heart 
is the house of the Lord. If the heart is a secret dwelling place of the Most High, if God stands and knocks on the door of your heart, if your body is the temple of the Holy Spirit, where is the house of the Lord? Is it up in heaven? Nope. Is it the church down the road? Nope. The house of the Lord is your heart. If you choose to dwell in your heart, that means dwell in the feelings that feel good, not the head. The head is where the thoughts and feelings that feel bad come from. The head is the human. The heart is the spirit. The head wants to bully, control, manipulate, and generate an outcome. The heart is gentle. It's soft. It's kind. It's sweet. It's patient. It's loving and kind. See, when you dwell in your heart, that means that Everything you do, think, say, all that you are, comes from the foundation of dwelling in the heart. It comes from a foundation of love. I tell my kids all the time, we act in love. When you act in love, you become love and love becomes you. When you are in your heart, completely abundant, you become abundance. Then be abundance, it just shows up, it just shows up and it just becomes you. This is how it works. Nothing forms from thin air. You become it first. You become it by dwelling in the house of the Lord. Surely and good, surely goodness and mercy will follow you for all of the days of your life because of what? What is the reason that all of this good is actually happening? There's only one reason. We just read it. It's because you dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Not at the local church. Not trying to climb a stairway to heaven, even though Led Zeppelin made a great song. Dwell in your heart. Dwell in and on that which feels acceptable to you. Dwell in and on thoughts that are worthy of you, that are worthy of your dream, that are worthy of the promise on the inside of you. Think about and thank about. Dwell only in things that move you forward. Because as you do that, the universe will move on your behalf. When you are faithful with the little things, the big things look after themselves. When you've done everything you can do, that's when God sweeps in in majesty and shows up and does what you could never have done. But you've got to participate. Dwell inside of your heart, in the soft, gentle, loving and kind spirit. Be a reflection of that loving kindness, that gentleness and softness, the mercy, the grace, the love. Experience that in yourself. Give that as a gift to yourself. Freely as you have received, now freely you should give. Give it as a gift to everybody else, even those who don't deserve it. Even those who deserve the exact opposite of it, we should endeavour in life never ever to treat people as they deserve, but only ever to treat them as they are worth. When you treat people as they are worth, not as they deserve. When you treat yourself as you are worth, not as you deserve, that is when you move forward. If this blessed you, leave me a comment, let me know, give it a thumbs up. Share the video with someone. Get some good karma for yourselves, folks. Pay this forward because you don't know what someone's going through and the universe will put this in front of who needs to hear it. But if this was for you, let me know in the comments. Just tell me, Ben, this was for me. And I will make a comment back. I will join my energy with yours and stand and believe for you that this is the first day of the rest of your life. It gets better from here, folks. I promise. I love you. Make sure you subscribe. Go visit these two videos and make sure you come back and see me tomorrow. Peace.